Okay, this is not a how-to video. This is more of an experiment that may become a how-to video. But if you saw my video of the greenhouse where the tomato plants took over when it was abandoned, and I, I came back and I was cleaning up the greenhouse and all these rotten tomatoes were falling on the ground. I was like, I don't want to just throw them away. So I thought, what can I do? So I'm going to try to dump a whole bunch in the bucket, mash them up, spread, spin them around. I, I've got a quarter inch drill, so it's fun bringing out the power tools. And we're gonna see if we can separate the seeds, get them to sink to the bottom a whole bunch uh, at once. Now, my wife was like, do you need that to many, many tomato seeds? Absolutely not. If you saw my video where I just made a sandwich and then had enough seeds to plant my entire garden, I don't need that many, but this is a chance to have fun and maybe learn something. Yellow cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna dump these buckets in the big bucket. I need a little extra water for something for them to float around in and get macerated. Now the hard part's gonna be not spinning so fast that I keep bringing the seeds up off the ground. I gotta separate these seeds you know, I should mash these plants a little bit first so that they broke up. We're going to do a little maceration here. This will break the skin. And the seeds should come out a little bit easier. And then hopefully the seeds will be sinking to the bottom uh, after I use the drill to really break them up. So I'm going to get a little bit more water in here. Okay, that's enough liquid that they should be able to separate. Now here goes nothing. Switch directions every now and then. Oh yeah, that's making a mess. That's going to get some seed separated. Oh yeah, that's looking good. <laughs> All right, now, now the tricky part is how to slow this down enough, but keep mixing so the seeds can settle through everything to the bottom, but I don't keep drawing them back up. So actually, I'm probably gonna strain a little bit off, or pour a little off and see what we got going here. Let's put that on the electric drill. I did see a bunch of seeds on the top earlier. It looks, uh, I'm starting to lose some seed now. Let's see if I can't. I actually think I did pretty good on not losing a ton of seeds on the first one. I'm gonna give it some more water to get the seeds to, the, the pulp to come to the top and the seeds to drop down through. See if I can get the seed to drop without pulling it off the bottom. I've actually got a feeling that we're doing pretty good getting some of this. For the amount of seed that was in these tomatoes, there I don't see a ton running out. So we may have, we may be on to something here. Yeah, I'm gonna pour to a smaller bucket. See how we're doing. Ooh, there's a lot of seed in there. Now, how do I get that last bit done? That is the question. There's. Rinse all the seed down in there. Getting dirty, play with tools. It's a good day. All right, I'm gonna mix this up enough to let the seeds hopefully drop down and just start pulling some of the bigger chunks out with my hands. That's working pretty good. 
Well, I shouldn't have stirred it up like that. That was a bad move. To, if stuff's settling to the bottom, don't stir the bottom. Let those seeds sit in there. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Well, that's why we had the other bucket under there. We, at least we didn't lose anything. We just gotta go through it again. There is a lot of seed in here. There's gonna be a lot of seed in this floor. Well, yeah. Look at that. You can feed a thousand people. We're all done here. Put this in here, and then I'm gonna put all this back in here. I'm gonna put a little more water in. Now we I'll give that a moment to settle. But putting that more water in gives me a chance to take off some of this pulp that's floating around the top. Yes, I am losing about 10 seeds every time I put my hands in there, but we're all right. This, obviously we missed a lot of seed, but there was not a lot of effort in this. And there are uh, thousands of seeds in here. So at this point, I'm going to go through the regular processes that you can watch anybody's video on, cleaning these and drying them on a towel. I am going to work on separating a little bit more of the gel. But for the most part, I'm down to seed. And I, I don't know how much exactly that is, but that's a lot of seed. Anybody want some free seed? Contact me. Yellow cherry tomatoes. We're going to start drying out the tomato seed now. I'm just going to put it on a paper towel, run it across this. I'll come in here with a fork or a spoon or something and spread it out more, but I'll let the initial water just dry out. Uh, no hurry. Probably. I'll just let this sit for like a day, then I'll move them around again and let the rest of it dry out. Pick out the few chunks of pulp that are still there. Otherwise, this will dry out and we have plenty of seed. 